So the question gives us some information for the lead selling product from Blue Ocean. Now we see it's the actual variable overhead rate. They also tell us the standard variable overhead rate as well as the actual and standard hours. Now we don't know whether that's direct labor hours or manufacturing hours, but that's likely the driver. Now we're focused on the variable overhead spending variance in the current year. So we're really gonna be focused on comparing that actual variable overhead rate to the standard variable overhead rate. And we have our two-step approach for the variable overhead spending variance, so let's do it. So in step one, all we're gonna do, like I said, is compare that actual to standard variable overhead rate. So 650 minus $5, that means the actual variable overhead rate, which was the application rate for variable overhead, was $1.50 higher. Now, since the actual is higher than the standard or budgeted rate, that's not good for Blue Ocean in the current year. That means that they actually spent more. So that's gonna be unfavorable. Now we need to figure out by how much. So we take that difference of $1.50 and we multiply by actual hours here, not the standard hours. We multiply by 3,000 actual hours. And that means that we have a $4,500 variance and again, because the actual rate was higher than the standard or budgeted rate, that is going to be a $4,500 unfavorable variance. So that's the correct answer.